My fellow traders, welcome to another edition of Rolling With Dead. Man, it is another beautiful Sunday. Sundays are my favorite day of the week. It just gets everything started on the right foot. And when the weather is nice, uh, it just makes it even better. So, but before I get into this too deep, I want to let you guys know, if you missed the session this morning, um, the video is up. It's on the swing trade pad, the swing trade page on the website. There's an icon that tells you this video updates every week. That's where it's at. And the emails have gone out, so you should have gotten the email. If you didn't get it, uh, let me know. And I'll make sure I have your the correct email address for you. All right, so the first question this week, is, and I should have addressed this last week because this is by far the most popular question. Um, so, Ed, are you ever going to trade in a small account again? Uh, I, the short answer for that is no. I do not see the reason for doing that anymore. Uh, sure Trader is dead. They're gone. They're not coming back. And that era has pretty much passed us. Uh, there's another broker, the CMEG or Capital Market Elites Group that is, is, is pretty much like a regular broker. You don't have all the little idiosyncrasies and stuff you have with, with uh, SureTrader. SureTrader is gone. So I don't see any need for me to be in a small account. I'm trading. If you didn't know any better, you would think I was trading in a small account because I'm using smaller size still. This is the size that I was the most comfortable with and that I traded for a long time before I was able to move on. But if I'm gonna teach you, I'm gonna teach you my strategies and I'm gonna teach you how to grow an account, then I need to trade the same way I would expect you to trade. Smaller size managing your risk not letting things go too far you know always managing your risk and i'm the type of person where if i'm going to teach it then i'm going to have to i'm going to have to live it i can't tell you to do this and tell you to do that and i'm not doing the same thing there's there's no way that um that's going to work for me I'm not that type of person. So I'm going to be right in there. I'm going to be trading the same size. And if I teach a strategy, then I damn well need to trade. You know, it's, it doesn't make sense. If somebody's teaching you strategies and they're not trading them, the last thing you need to do is learn those because there has to be a reason why they aren't trading. So I need to be able to number one trade the same size that the average person will be trading that's following me and number two i need to be trading the same strategies that i'm teaching you that i believe in that should will help you get to the next level i don't need a small account to do that okay again i was in sure trader because most of the the people i was working with were, was in sure trader it was the best option at the time and I wasn't going to have you in there telling you that you could do this you could do that and I'm not doing it myself and I think I proved five or six times that you could do it so I don't need to go through that anymore CME G uh, C, capital market elite group is an excellent broker I I didn't open an account there because being self-employed they wanted everything and anything and I could not give them that so I just let it go now yeah I could have gotten an account through my wife or through my daughter and, and just traded that but why I don't need that I don't need to okay all I need to do is be there in my account teaching you the strategies actually trading the strategies that I'm teaching you every day, day in and day out, being consistent with how I execute it, and the being 
that example to you guys because this is how you have to trade. If you want to be successful, you got you to gotta do it. You got to follow a model, somebody that does it every day and that proves to you time and time again that this strategy, everything is successful. So it should be a no-brainer. But no, I'm not going back into a smaller account. Now, I am doing the swing trading in the TD Ameritrade account, which is under PDT. So it is a smaller account. It's not fully funded, but it's another option for you guys that may not want to go overseas anymore. You may not want to day trade. You may just want to do some slower, um, longer term trades, a couple days to a week. Uh, whenever you have a really good opportunity for a day trade, a really good trending or all day hold, that's what one of those three day trades could be used for. So, you know, that's what I'm trying to do here with, with that TD Ameritrade. All right, so I know this is a long-winded answer to a short question, but I, I needed to let you know why I'm not going to try to open up another small account. You know, it's just no reason to, to be honest with you. Um, so the next question is centers around having a daily goal. Now, I don't believe in having daily goals. Uh, you guys know that. I've said it time and time and time again. Um, but I do not believe in having daily goals. Because what happens is you tend to reach those daily goals and shut it off. Or if you're close to that daily goal, you just try to take a little quick trade to hit it. And you end up giving back more money. Um, so I don't believe that that's the way to trade. I don't. And then there's another issue that I've run into many, many times where somebody has a $300 or $200 a day loss, max loss. Uh, most of the time it's three because that's mine and they're copying me. So they have a $300 a day max loss, but then they're trying to make $200 to $250 per trade. That makes absolutely no sense. Why are you, when you when you plan your trade, you're not going to risk twice as much as you're trying to make. That's a recipe for losing your money. So why would you make that daily? So what happens, they'll have a $300 a day loss, and then either they'll stop trading when they get to a couple hundred dollars, or in the middle of a trade, if they're green, they'll just shut it off because they don't want to go negative. And that creates this problem. And I can't tell you how many profit calendars I've looked at. And everybody is like, man, I, I stuck to my max loss. You know, I haven't gone over $300. And they have like eight or nine days of, you know, $300 losses or maybe 250, 260. And then I'm looking at the winning days and it's like 150, 175, um, $210. And, and I'm like, this is why you've got more green days than you have red days, but you're not managing your risk. You know, where is the problem? And they're trying to hit a certain dollar amount per day and then shut it off. You can't do that. You have to trade. If the setups present themselves, trade it. If you do that over a period of time, you're going to have bigger winning days than losing days. And you're going to be able to make some money in this market. You're going to be able to consistently make money in this market. All right? They're going to be max loss days. I have them all the time. But I do have max win max win days too and those days are, are pretty big when when i get them so you know, my thing is don't worry about a daily goal don't worry about just meeting a daily goal i i know i've been there 
I know that it feels good to end the day green. Especially if you've had like five or six red days in a row. Ending the day green with a hundred bucks, just, I mean, it just, it means so much, right? But you got to get past that. You can let yourself feel that way for a week, then you got to get past it. You got to move on. All right, it, it's not going to help you. So, um, I hope I answered that question uh, to satisfy, you know, everybody that's an asked that question. And uh, I just, I'm just from that school of thought where I don't believe you should have a daily goal. I believe you should trade the market and take every dime that market gives you and then move on to the next day. If you happen to, um, if you happen to uh, lose, hit your max loss, then so be it. Don't come back the next day just trying to get some green to make yourself feel better. You don't want to pacify yourself in this. All right, so that's going to do it for me today. Um, we're going to get refreshed the rest of this week, rest of this evening, kind of chill out and just take it easy. Enjoy the rest of this day and, and we'll be, you know, get ourselves ready for the, the start of the day tomorrow. So you guys take care. And I will catch you tomorrow morning.